Hello, this is Gene. I'm going to do a video like I used to do in the past. It's like a staple on this channel for a while when I was <coughs> calling out people for being cucks. Um, I kind of ended up talking about it for a while, but there's been too much going on right now, too much cuckery going on, so I have to call out some people. And this is really in relation to the Serena um, Williams meltdown at the U.S. Open. Uh, there were some people came out that said that she was in the wrong. Even S Stephen A. Smith did it. Of course, he gave her a lot of outs in it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yesterday, um, actually, I want to thank you those who actually watched the that uh, video I did. It was one of my better viewed and <clears throat> videos I've had. So thank you to that. Um, I think I was one of the first guys that came out and started saying something about it. So maybe that's how I got the traffic. I mean, it's still not a whole lot, but it's enough, and I got a couple more subscribers, so that's good. Basically, what I said in that video, that she was out of line, and there was nothing that the uh, referee did wrong. Uh, he followed the, basically, the rules, and um, she was out of line. And I said a little bit more than that, but that's on the, uh, the basis she was out of line, and she really should be apologizing to him. So the day after that, on uh, Trey Wingo's and Mike, Mike Golick show, they basically blamed the referee, said that the referee needed to quell the situation. It's kind of hard when the referee is seen uh, coaching, clearly coaching being done, and he has to do what he has to do according to the rules and give her a warning. <clears throat> Everything she did after that is on her, and it's still on her anyway. But so I let that go. And all the people on the left were defending her and saying she's a heroine, the, the calling out all the double standards in ten tennis when it comes to women, which is all bullshit. They play 60% of the uh, sets that men do, but they want to get as much money as the men. I mean, it, it, we can go forever that. And, and they try to compare her to John McEnroe and that John McEnroe said so many crazy things and nothing happened to him, which is crazy. He got fined probably 60 or 70 times. He got thrown out of tournaments for his, uh, his behavior. He was called... So much bad shit back then. People, we didn't have the internet back then, so you don't know what the press in London was talking about him. They were basically saying that he was indicative to the, how, the, the boorish American. But anyway, he was vilified for his actions at Wimbledon. He was. Um, I love it. He was probably the greatest player I ever watched. Him and Borg was great mass matches with wooden, wooden um, tennis Hat rackets. I mean, just the greatness that they did uh, in those small wooden uh, rackets. <clears throat> so, like I said, Michael Go Michael Go Golick, the older guy, came out saying that uh, it's his fault, and they should he should be suspended, not her. That he should be suspended. So I wrote a tweet to him. And of course, you know he'll never respond to it, and I basically called him out for what he did. And I I'm just wondering is. Is any can anybody else do the same thing and not will they get out get, get away from it? Anybody other person that did that would have got exactly what she got, and there, this would not be an issue. But because she's a female and she's black to boot, this ha this 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 has to go everything else. It has to be some cause because she's out here doing things for women's rights. It just give me a break. She doesn't do anything for women's rights. All she wants is she wants them to get as much money as much money as the men. What does that do for women that aren't doing anything? <clears throat> but I'm not really talking about Serena here. We all know what she did. We knew that she was a... I, the, the words are just... It's just abhorrent, her behavior. But... so he, And then Trey Wingo basically agreed with, with him. I think he was a little bit less than that. But apparently he said that it's his, his job to calm down the player. Even though he's doing everything by the book and he never raised her vo his voice to her and didn't do any of the stuff. He was li listening, attentive, and then she told him to shut his mouth. <clears throat> but today, apparently, Mike Dolet has a day off and his son was there. I mean, talk about nepotism in ESPN. <clears throat> they gave him a job uh, just because his son, his dad is Mike Golick, who's been there for 20 years. Um, so he said the same thing because there was this, a report out that uh, the referees were going to try to get a union together because they were getting they're getting kind of sick of uh, being uh, being the bad guy and all this stuff. This is not the first time that Serena individually has done shit like this. 
it's all on the internet. All these people on the internet uh, in ESPN know exactly what she did before. The referees are not going to say they're afraid of her, but they know that she has these issues. And you all can look it up. You can look at a couple times at the U.S. Open that she did shit, saying that she's going to put a ball down someone's throat to basically kill him, um, yelling at other people. It, it, she's has she has an issue with this, and I don't. I said in my video the other day that I think that she's been enhanced, and I think this is just a steroid raid that's coming out. And she's the type of person that can't deal with losing when she knows she's getting outplayed. Then she she has to find a different way to excuse her for losing, because look at her. I mean, she looks like a guy. You think she should win every fucking match? She doesn't win win them all. She's almost 37 now. Something's going on with that, and that's a different video as well. I mean, everybody already have reported on this before. Know that he's, she's, she has some history with that as well. So I'm expecting that maybe his son might have a different take. But he's like, he just said to Trey and says, hey, uh, let, I'll let you talk about it because I don't really know much about tennis. Well, why are we talking about it? Um, but then he basically said that this was like putting gasoline on a fire or some shit. That that the referee shouldn't unionize, or uh, because they feel they're not being uh, taken care of by uh, USTA or the WDA or whatever. I mean, you gotta remember after this, the the U.S. Tennis Association claimed that there was sexism, and that's the reason why she got um, what happened to her in U.S. Open. Although all the three people that came, all the referees that came out that day upheld uh, that stuff, and the next day she was fined seventeen thousand for her outbursts. But there was sexism there. I don't really care if the WTA comes out, the Women's Tennis Association. Of course, the feminist uh, back lobby, all that shit. We know that's. But when the USA, US, United States Tennis Association comes out and says there's sexism in this, it, why, if you're a referee, would you even. Why would you want that to be on your thing? That you have to be always worried about, no matter what I say, if, if they, it's a woman, that it's going to be sexism. So. These are the same people that basically suck the cock of all the NFL players and always on the player's side when it comes to shit. Maybe that's their MO. They're always going to be on the player's uh, side regardless of what they do. Unless they're accused of touching a woman, then it's totally different. Everybody on that, that network goes crazy and said, I can't believe that. Uh, he should be in jail forever. He, I mean, no matter, without any proof, they'll say this. Um, but Mike Golick, his son, Trey Wingo, is the epitome of what's happening to whatever this is. If they're going to be uh, SJW um, talkers in the morning about sports, and it, it, they're sports here, so they can certainly talk about it. But if they're going to say that, uh, I, I mean, I don't watch the show. I mean, it was in my YouTube feed, and I saw it, and I'm like, maybe his son's going to have a different take on it. But no, he, don't. he won't, because I think he knows that that was out of, out of bounds, what she did. Um, but 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 to, for them to say that the referee shouldn't do this or are ups, are upset about what's happened with her just her her track record and say that that's going to put fuel on the on the on the whatever that is I, I know the term but it's going to make it worse uh, at what time can they stand up for themselves she, this man was berated on national TV in front of, I don't know, 15 million people. And clearly since that, people have seen it. And all they see is certain snippets of it. They don't see the entire thing where she, she went crazy at the beginning. And then she got the other uh, warning for sprashing her, her racket. And then she went crazy again. And then she at the end, because she continually verbal abused this guy, I guess it's because it's a guy. It was just a, I, I just wonder if it was a female that was a chair, would they have the same type of thing? The, the, the double standard in all of this is that the double standard usually affects men. It doesn't affect women. Women in the West are, are so overprivileged. And if you're a white, or excuse me, a black, a female athlete, you clearly are. I mean, you're looked at as an icon no matter what you say. And just, I said, I said that in that video a couple days ago. There were so many people online basically saying, no, oh, she's a hero for what she did. She was calling the man out. And I'm like, uh, Mr. Ra Ra Ramos, probably the greatest uh, chair in the last 20 years. He is like, he's like the elite of the elite. That he's, he's thrown out men for the same violation. Everybody knows. And this is another thing that really makes me upset about ESPN. These are all athletes for the most part. Like Golik. And if you know that a referee that's going to be doing your game 
and they have quirks. And so you, you actually look into this stuff. You want to make sure that I don't want to upset that person so they'll give us a different game because we're all human, we make mistakes. Um, in soccer, this happens all the time. Teams like in, in England, when they find out who the, the referee is going to be, the head referee, they like, oh, shit, what we can, we can't do. The, can we, I'm not going to say dive a little bit more, but some no, some referees allow, allows te, uh, teams to can play. Even there's a lot of uh, tackles that are going on. Some guys are really to the book, and if you're going to get it, you're going to get uh, carded. She clearly knew that Ramos was going to be uh, the coach or the ref. She could clearly find out what he's done before for violations. This guy, there is no place in his entire career that I could find, and I looked, that if you destroyed your, your trap, uh, your racket, he gave, a, he gave a code violation. If you was coaching by the, now again, the coaching is different, different when it comes to the, the grand, grand stand, slams. You're not allowed to do it there. On some of the other term, terminates, they don't really care about, but at the grand stands, they do, whatever. But if he, if he was at a place that was at a grand slam and this happened and he saw it, he would give him the same code violation. And you cannot sit there for 40 or 50, four or five minutes to continually de uh, berate this man. And at the end, she says, don't talk to me. And then what I said before in my video, he called him a thief and all that stuff. Now, why can't the referees have a union or why can't they make sure that they have the support of the WTA and S2, uh, uh, United States Tennis Association. They should clearly want that, just as like the referee in the NFL want that. Uh, I'm sure this guy got, I don't know if he's got a, a, a long line uh, pers persona. Uh, I know they have, a, I don't know if he has Twitter, but this I know, there's a, there's a cartoon out there, a guy made of her, you know, basically acting like a, a baby, going up, you know, like this, and everybody thought it was racist, and, and I, I mean, it, at least the team, the, uh, the uh, newspaper said that's fine. We're going to keep, keep showing it. And they re just reprinted it. And I, the only issue I have is that if that was supposed to be her at the U.S. Open, the girl that's, that's actually talking to the chair there had blonde hair. I, I wish he would have done that. I wish it had been uh, dark, line, uh, dark like Osaka is. But that makes you look. I could see how people could say that. But her, her care condition that she was at, her picture... That's her. I mean, it looks exactly like her when she acts like that. So this guy, because of this, he had to he had to get rid of all his Twitter and all that stuff because he had death threats and everything like that. I mean, first of all, it, this doesn't mean anything. She can hit a ball, okay? As much as I like sports, especially women's sports, I like, especially at the college level, I really like it because there's none of this shit going on. Sometimes they'll come out, and they did, and I had a video about that too, that they should get more money, but... Whatever. You can't compare what you do. But anyway. Um, but then you have people saying that she's the greatest of all time. But we had this conversation already. She got beat years ago by a guy who was, his, was at 200 in the world and destroyed them. Both of the sisters. So she's not. She might be the best when it comes to, to the women. But this is all the same thing. Whenever she starts losing, she does this stuff. And I don't... The cuck that's going on here. The cuckery going on about the ESPN, who's supposed to be about sports for the most part, that they don't have anybody on the other side. I mean, Stephen A. was still a very lukewarm um, criticism of her. I mean, somebody should have been in their face saying what she did was wrong, regardless of what men did before. I mean, she talks about McEnroe. Most of the shit he did was before she was even born or she was been two or three years old. I mean, the game has changed so much and guys don't really do it that much. But Guy, I mean, but still, those guys will get fined. They'll get a code violation. They will be get a, a game warning, and they'll get knocked out if they do keep doing it. Guys, I guess maybe it's just us. After the first or second one, we stop, okay, and we don't continually continually berate the official. And well, this was supposed to be about Cuckery, and I'm talking about Serena again. But these guys are just white knighting, white knighting for her, which is kind of crazy because she's black. But anyway, this is what they're doing because. They, it, it makes absolute no sense. If they just do any research to say that she's had this issue before, if they said what happened to McEnroe or every, uh, any man on the play, uh, on the team uh, in tennis, if they looked at the Ramos' um, referee career, refereeing career, and said this happened, this happened, this happened, then, then show me some bias. 
if there's no bias there, and she did it, he does exactly what he always does, there's no sexism here. And why can't the referee say, hey, this is bullshit. I don't want to be blamed every time that she's on the court. Well, she's done this before. She's virtually, verbally threatened a person. That's assault. You can still do this, right? You can tell somebody that I'm going to do this shit to, you know, if you're seen by people, you can be uh, charged with it. And she was seen, when that happened, I think it was 2011, she was seen by millions. And you know what? They, they, I think they fined find her like $10,000. And you know what she, in her mind, what she thinks then? I can keep doing this. I can keep saying shit like this. And at the same time, she'll still say that I'm a female and if it was a man, this wouldn't happen. And she uses all those freaking victim dargs. And the problem I have is these guys, and they're almost guys, all of them, continually per perpetuate the, the false narrative that women are oppressed in the West, that they're oppressed when it comes to sports. Uh, it's just, it's like their own, I mean, I would, they're not in fucking heart, they're not in fucking in Hollywood, but I guess they're close enough to New York, but they're part of their own fucking echo, echo chamber. And the only guys there that have any sense before get pushed out. I mean, guys like uh, Cursed, Chilling, if, if a curb of chilling would have been there, I'm sure he would have said basically what I said. He would have done it more eloquently than me. He, may, he might not have said some of the things I said. But she, at what point is she supposed to take responsibility for any of it? And I've said that so many times on this fucking channel that we look at women like they're re retarded children. They, apparently they are. Because if this woman who's had all this privilege, granted she grew up in Compton, okay? But once she went, became a professional athlete, and she has all this money, and but she still acts like somebody that, that didn't get her, her uh, way throughout her entire life. Maybe that's the problem. She had bad parenting. I don't know. But I think there's something more there. And maybe in another video, I'll talk about it. But overall, I just wanted to get this out. I'm just, I used to do this a lot. I used to talk about cucks of the week, usually in the alt-right. Uh, there's not an alt-right there, although it's all related because we talk about feminism and stuff. It kind of like uh, is one of the reasons that men are what they are right now, why we've lost our soul. And I said that in my tweet many times, that the, the shaming of men to say that it's all men's fault, it can't be Sharina's. Um, so it has to be men's fault. So, and you continually shame them, and eventually you, they lose their soul, and then we see what we have in this in the, in the society. People say it's the water that's making our, our testosterone to go down. I think it's it could be, but it's also when you continually shame, shame, and shame, and shame, guys can't really be like guys. They, you know, at some point we're very simple creatures to understand. We need we need to be praised, okay? We do, and we want we want to be be leaders as much as we can. And when you continually say it's your fault and that stuff, then it also uh, mixes with our psyche. And what happens in our academia right now, and it's getting earlier and earlier, that these guys really don't become what they should be. They don't have any male uh, influences and um, the leftist academia continually blames them. And it, you can't just continually say this. The media keeps saying it. They see it. And it just wears on them. Again, that's another video. So let me know what you think below. Do you think that she should be called out? And are they just, are these guys have no balls whatsoever that they're going to continually say that she wasn't the problem there? You know, Mike Golick, senior, really needs to get somebody to get... I, I wish I was in his face, and I know he's a bigger man than me, but he needs a fucking slap across his face to, to say that he should be suspended for what he did. Fucking hell. He should be suspended. Maybe that's why he wasn't there. I don't know. But Jesus, he, that, that, is, that is the worst t take in the history of sports take. So, again, let me know what you know, what you like in the, in the comments. We'll talk about it. Again, thank you for those who watched the, the original... Serena video, I'll put it in the comments below, and I think I'll put a couple of those um, videos from ESPN. Again, I don't watch it. It was in my YouTube channel. The only time I watch ESPN is when they're showing college football and maybe a national team game or maybe soccer, uh, softball or something. I don't watch their, their shows because it's so bad. Not only that, before I go, I forgot about uh, Will Bond uh, from uh, PTI. Uh, she, he's a cuck, too. He said the same thing. He said it was basically the referee's fault. I expected somebody like him might have a better uh, take. The only one has, other than Steven, the only one is the guy from uh, uh, 
speak for yourself, uh, another black conservative terminalist. Although, again, she again they didn't do enough there. Uh, you, people are just so afraid to call out what it is. So, anyway, we'll talk about it in the comments. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later.